All right, today I'm gonna show you how to build this DIY 48 volt battery box. The market is starting to offer a bunch of these boxes and we've made our own version. And this works with like the standard 280 to 320 amp hour cells from all kinds of brands like Eve, Hytheum, and CATL. There's a few other brands, right? Go to the product description page and you will see what size of cells will fit on this box. But today I'm gonna show you how to put this together. It's very easy. You should be able to build it without like minimal tools. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, so step one, when you get it, this box is gonna be fully put together, fully assembled. And the first step you have to do is gonna have to take it apart. So we do that because we wanna make sure that we include everything in there. And if we built it, then you, when you take it apart, that means you're not gonna be missing anything, right? So uh, first take the cover off. And the way you do the to cover is you have to remove all these screws here and then the ones on the side and then the ones on the back. So let's do that now. And we don't have all the screws here because we already did it, but you get the idea. We, you take all the screws off and then the, the cover will come off. take the cover off okay so this is what the box looks like on the inside uh, it comes all pre-wired and so you won't have to do anything with the wiring of the face here and the BMS and stuff these are you basically have to just load the cells and then put this in here right so this comes zip tied in there so that it doesn't bang around during transit. So all you have to do is cut the zip ties. And then you have that one bus bar on the other side over here because that bus bar does not come with the cells. All the other bus bars that you're gonna use here, they come included in your cells. Well, typically, depending on where you buy your cells, but it's very typical that the cells come with bus bars and they come with uh, screws depending on which ones you get. The, this box is compatible with both styles of cells. You can get the single post, the single pole or a stud or a screw uh, or the dual. In this case, we're going to use uh, premium cells, grade eight cells, uh, Eve cells, 280, and these ones come with the two studs. And so we're gonna use screws for to attach this in here, but yours might have with the with the uh, with male post, I guess. And so this is compatible with that. So in that case, you will, uh, if you get the, the, the nuts with your cells, then you're good to go. If you don't, you will have to source that out yourself. Also the cells come with these dividers. Uh, and so you will use those in between here. So once you take out the uh, zip ties there, then what you need to do is flip this giant PCB Okay, there we go. Okay, we use a piece of tape right here so it doesn't pull too much on these little cables. These are fragile, so be careful. Don't tag, don't pull on them too much. So now that you have that, now you can start loading up the cells. The way these cells go is, one way you can tell is by following the uh, markings on the bus bar uh, PCB, right? Now we've done that, we laid out all the cells over here. So I, this is what you also could see. The positive goes here and then the negative goes on the right. So positive on the, on the left, negative on the right. And then they alternate. So positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. And the same thing here. Negative, positive, negative, positive. So we're, we're just gonna load those and transfer them inside. And it's very, very easy. Yeah. And make sure you include the little epoxy sheets in between all the cells. Tighten these alternates from the back side of the wall of the box. And to get to those, of course, you will have to remove the, the back. 
Okay, so those are should only be around two newton meters of torque mm -hmm. to do the compression plates. Next step, you have to now put the uh, PCB bus bar on top, and that is very simple and very easy to do. You just flip it over. But the next thing you take is your bus bars that came with your cells. They're gonna look like this if you got the dual stud cells, but they're gonna look like this if you got the single stud cells. Both of these work right here. In this case, we're gonna use the dual stud cells. And you should uh, have your, your bolts. Okay, so now it's time to put that last one in there. It's the only different bus bar in this whole battery. Okay, so then the next step is to do the main positive and the main negative. These cables are right here. Negative is gonna go right here. The main positive and then the BMS positive. This cable right here is what supplies the main BMS with power. Okay, this is just on the first few boxes. We are actually designing these bus bars to be solid bus bars so that you don't have to do all these we don't have to do all this crimping and all this bending of big, thick wires. It's gonna look much better. But if you happen to get one of these first ones that have these wires in here, that's, this is how you have to do it. Next step is you can turn it on. So this one shows 100%. Now, the first time you turn this on for you is gonna show an error. Uh, yours is gonna have to be about setup. So you will have to connect your phone. Okay, so once you do that and set it up, uh, once you change the password on the uh, access point in this thing, then the alarms will go off and it'll clear and then after that, right? So we're not gonna do that because this box is not for us. We'll let the customer do it. The last step now is to install the cover. And the cover here will have uh, these little isolating things so that it, it doesn't touch the bottom here and you are done that's it we believe this is one of the quickest easiest boxes to build but we still have some ideas on how to make that even quicker and easier. Uh, they're gonna, those are gonna come, those changes are only gonna come in the next iterations of these. This is like early on in the design process, uh, but this is it. Now you have your box. This is uh, the way it sits right now with 280 amp hours uh, cells. This is about 14 or 15 kilowatt hours. And then if you put the 314s or the 320s or whatever, you can go 16, almost 17 kilowatt hours, depending on the, those cells, right? So this is a huge, huge battery. 
that can run your entire home. This uh, BMS is capable of doing 200 amps. And so 200 amps at 52, right? That's enough to run a whole house. So you install this in your garage and then you connect your uh, inverter on there and then you can you can you know charge this via solar or you can charge it uh, during off-peak power using the grid possibilities on these are endless you could uh, stack a few of these on top of each other you could put wheels on this you can wheel them around uh, the the later versions that we have we will offer them with a plate on the back end on the bottom side here that will allow you to put wheels and then you could also stack and stand this up uh, vertically so that it doesn't take a lot of room in your garage or your storage, wherever place that you're gonna place these or store these, right? This is becoming really quickly the standard. A lot of people are using these because these cells are very easy to build us. You saw in 20 minutes, you can be up and running with these cells, right? If you use premium uh, grade eight cells like we are doing here, you will see that the cells are very, very even you don't even the bms doesn't even have to balance it and that whole need to have a you know a two amp uh balancer that like active balancer that kind of goes away it, although you do have it here for when your your cells will start aging and then after that uh you know if they start drifting and stuff this bms will be able to keep it uh in check will be able to keep them in check right so as you can see here the delta between the cells right now it's point zero zero two volts this is very 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 like small difference between the cells right so uh grade a batteries i recommend you do that you buy them once and then you won't have to worry about them probably for the next 20 years that is the the idea when you're buying these batteries here these are super safe uh super long lasting batteries uh, especially when you get from the top brands like catl or uh, eve and then you have their budget cells. This box right here is compatible with all of them. And so also this is probably gonna be one of the cheapest or most affordable DIY battery boxes that exist out there. The competition is gonna be fierce because everybody is making these boxes these days, right? This is the only one that I think it's being assembled here in the US. Everything else is coming from China, right? There's nothing uh wrong with that but of course they're gonna be hit with a 10 percent uh tariff starting this year right now so everything you bring in here i think we expect those prices to go up while these there are some parts that are coming from china i mean i think most of it, the sales are coming from china the these panels are coming from china these are being cut and bent here in the united states uh but then all this hardware also is coming from china so we will probably see some increase in the cost of all these parts and stuff uh but i think it might be less because it's not 100 percent of the product it's not the retail price of this product that is going to be hit with a 10 percent, but it's the individual component prices right so we're hoping that it's going to be less and we will keep being able to make these and kind of be on the lower end of the market right and so there you go if you need a quick easy battery box the to put uh the your 280 amp hour cells lithium iron phosphate then take a look at these boxes on jack35.com okay we'll see you guys on the next one bye